Hello, this is Brian. Today is Tuesday, November 14, 2023. And I'm here on California 78, just outside of Banner, here in San Diego County, Southern California. I just wanted to get into a small ode video today. An ode to the desert willow. And this is Kelopsis linearis subspecies arquata. I've done a couple videos on this plant. A full spotlight video at the base of San Isidro Mountain in Cherry Canyon near Ranchita. Which is actually over there. Actually, that's San Isidro Mountain over there. And I can see San Isidro Mountain right there, right where my finger is pointing. So I was at the bottom of that over in Cherry Canyon where I did the spotlight video on this. And then, the next summer, I was checking out this plant in a park in Santee, in San Diego County, right near where I live now. And they plant these sometimes in the coastal side of the mountains too. So, there were a couple right near Mast, right near the entrance of Mast Park. And they were still blooming back in August 2022 when I shot the spotlight follow-up. So let's go use this as more of an appreciation video. Now, thinking, they're not blooming. Why do a video now? Because I just enjoy seeing these plants at different seasons. And yes, their flowers are strikingly beautiful. They are no doubt very beautiful flowers and they're very striking and they're very similar shape to our ornamental jacaranda trees the ones that have that blue purple bloom usually in May June and early July and they're related they're in the bignoniaceae the bignonia family so yes our beautiful desert willow large shrub small tree I love the graceful architecture of this. The architecture of this plant is very much willow-like, but it's not related to willows. Not even closely related. Not even... Not even more uh, closely related to, to willows at all. Very distantly related, being that they're angiosperms, flowering plants. So that's probably the closest affiliation they have with willows. But they do have the graceful architecture. Well, like sometimes these ones have a little bit more of that rugged, really arid, desert-type vibe. And you can see here with really fine, really finely branched twigs and these really narrow, very willow-like leaves, gotta, gotta admit it. Well, that's why desert willow is a common name of this plant. But we, uh, anybody who's at least partially versed in botanical nomenclature, fancy word for naming plants, would know that just because you call it a willow, just because you call it a cedar, because you call it a pine, doesn't mean that it's a true willow, a true cedar or a true pine. So a lot of times when those names are put in for common names of plants that are not those, you'll see a hyphen like desert hyphen willow. So you'll see on the title of this video, Ode to Desert Hyphen Willow, because it's not a true willow. So a lot of times you'll see that hyphen name, like incense cedar, incense hyphen cedar. Not everybody does it, but I do it because Incense cedar is not a true cedar. True cedars are actually in the pine family. So, Atlas cedar, Deodar cedar. I'm, I'm not going to put a hyphen between Deodar and cedar because they're true cedars in the genus Cedrus. Incense cedar is in the Cypress family, of course. So, desert hyphen willow. Here's another giveaway that these are most certainly not willows. These look like seed pods, they look like legumes. But again, 
It's in the Bignonia family, the Bignoniaceae. So this is more of a follicle or seed capsule that's gonna split open and re release these little winged seeds, these little guys here. So this is really cool. And this is how you'll see the relationship between North America's catalpas and the genus catalpa, like Indian bean, catalpa bignonioides, because these are closely related to catalpas. Catalpas have bean-like seed follicles or seed capsules, just like desert willow. So that's how you can kind of see the relationship. So yeah, these are all follicles or seed capsules here. So these aren't true legumes. They're not in the Fabaceae. They're not in the pea family. The ones in the pea family have actual true seed pods. So I'm going to go over to a pea family plant really quickly so you can see what a pea pod looks like. All right, so we are actually at a Fabaceous plant or a pea family plant that has seed pods. This here is the cat claw acacia senegalia greggi. These are actual legumes. These are true seed pods. And, and this is a legume. This is a legume of a honey mesquite, Prosopis glandulosa varietoriana. So that's a legume. So what you saw on the desert willow, again, it looks a lot like a seed pod to the average layperson. Oh, okay, these got some pretty cool seed pods. But they may be very seed pod like, but again, they're not true legumes, they're not true beans. So again, pretty cool bean bean like seed pods. So what happens when you hybridize this with a closely related hybrid, a closely related catalpa, you get, you get Kitalpa tashkentensis from Tashkent, Uzbekistan, I believe is where that is. And it's a flowering tree, small tree, that's kind of intermediate between the narrow leaves of desert willow and the broader leaves of catalpa. And that's a, a sterile ornamental tree, so it produce flowers but it won't produce fruit. So why is this looking so sparsely leaved? Well, let's put it this way. It's a winter deciduous tree. It sheds its leaves in autumn and is leafless in winter. So pretty soon, as you see here, the leaves are starting to dull and get ready to fall off. It's really not a huge fall color plant, so I wouldn't grow it if you're looking for specifically fall color gonna shed its leaves as they kind of dull and dry up and they'll fall off eventually and they have a long deciduous period so sometimes these won't be leafing out till well into mid-spring so lower elevations not even until well into April higher elevations this tree is mostly found below 5,000 feet but like above three, about four or five, about four thousand feet or so, you can expect this to be dormant till probably, even, maybe even later, maybe even later April, or maybe even later. But there's there's a beautiful furrowed bark at the base of this small tree. Yeah, this tree is absolutely stunning. So this is a tree that I appreciate for what it is, being a tree. And you know me, I love trees no matter what. But yeah, this is quite a beauty. Take a snap a few photos of it and then I'll go ahead and wrap up this ode. So let me go get a couple of pictures on this beautiful guy. There's another smaller desert willow right here. So yeah, if you're in an area that's got a lot of canyon washes on the desert side of the mountains, keep a lookout for this. If you're hiking during those hot summer months, or late spring and summer months, 
Look, keep a lookout for the really colorful flowers. Purplish, whitish, beautiful flowers on these guys. And then keep an eye out for those really long seed capsules that are very narrow. This almost looks like the ends of uh, naked twigs. But yeah, those are the, the seed capsules. What a what a magnificent specimen here. And an, another younger one right here that's just absolutely beautiful. Yes, I know. I didn't this isn't being recorded when they're in flower. But anybody who has appreciation for trees, true appreciation can appreciate these in any season. And when they're leafless in winter, they're really rugged. The really rugged silhouette is very pleasing to the eye. So there you have it. This is Calopsis linearis subspecies Arquata. The beautiful desert willow. Beautiful, graceful plant. Can tolerate heat, can tolerate drought. So it will probably grow better in canyons, but this area is very dry. There's no canyon here. So very drought tolerant. Very heat tolerant and has a pretty decent cold tolerance. I'm not sure if, it, if, it, if its tolerance is below zero Fahrenheit. But it can survive the cold winter nights in the desert pretty well without any problems. And just a beautiful, pleasurable native Bignoniaceae, the trumpet creeper family, which has lots of awesome ornamental plants but it definitely has this beautiful native as well. Very highly recommend trying to grow this if you have room for it. This is basically gonna do it for my old video. Thanks for taking time out of your day to experience these beautiful desert willows outside of the lovely town of Banner near Julian in San Diego County. And I will see you on the next old video.